expression in e coli of cloned dna molecules here we will discuss that what are the different requirements uh, for the expression of cloned dna and how the expression of that target gene can be maximized first we will focus on the requirement uh, for expression in e coli if we want to get a functional product of the cloned gene then uh, it must be transcribed uh, successfully and after transcription next step that is translocation must be followed and when the nascent polypeptide chain it is synthesized then other steps like post translational processing and compartmentalization they may also be uh, important so jo basic requirement hai ke foreign gene jo hai wo express kare iske liye ek uh, jo strong promoter hai uska hona zaruri hai so in addition to the requirement of the promoter uh, the three prime termination uh, point it is also uh, very very important in addition to that there must be a ribosome binding site on the messenger rna and the ribosome binding site uh, it is being uh, provided by a short stretch of uh, nucleotide bases that is present upstream of the start codon and in most of the cases the stop codon it is aug or sometime it may be gug and uh, this sequence of nucleotide that is present upstream of the start codon it is called as the shine delgarno sequence it helps the attachment of aug codon on the uh, ribosome now this shine delgarno sequence uh, it is having a complementary base pairing with the 3 prime end of the 16s ribosomal rna if we have a look on the composition of the ribosome then along with different type of proteins uh, rna molecules are also present and one of the rna molecule it is uh, 16s ribosomal rna molecule and this shine delgarno sequence its 5 prime end it is complementary to the 3 prime end of the 16s ribosomal rna so that they can bind on the ribosome around the position of aug codon and after binding then the process of uh, protein synthesis can take place in addition to that after the protein synthesis different steps are also required especially uh, the modification of the newly synthesized polypeptide like its glycosylation amidation phosphorylation meristylation so all these steps they uh, modify the nascent polypeptide chain and keep in mind that all these modification are the processes they may not be going on in e coli if e coli we are going to use as a host organism and sometimes such modification they are not required for the biological activity of the protein but sometime uh, it may be essential if we want to modify the protein uh, by post translational modification then uh, such activities can be introduced in the host organisms like the e coli or the other micro organism for example a gene for meristylation like Uh, and meristyle transferase has been uh, cloned in e coli from yeast so that it can uh, introduce uh, the mer meristylation in kinase proteins so uh, the host organism can also be modified for uh, such modifications iske ilawa agar protein synthesize ho gayi hai to ye zaruri nahi ke वो होस्ट ऑर्गेनिज्म के अंदर स्टेबल भी रहे क्योंकि जब ये बनती है तो हो सकता है कि ये उसमें 
डिग्रेड हो जाए और या डिसइंटीग्रेट हो जाए तो द स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ द फॉरेन प्रोटीन्स इन होस्ट ऑर्गेनिज्म इट इज इक्वली इम्पोर्टेंट इट हैज बिन ऑब्जर्व दैट वेन सर्टन इन इनकम्प्लीट मैसेजेस दे आर ट्रांसलेटेड इनकम्प्लीट मीन्स दैट समटाइम सिंजर आर एन ए इट इज ट्रांकेटेड हैविंग इनकम्प्लीट मैसेज सो अंडर सच सर्कमस्टांसिस इनकम्प्लीट ट्रांसलेशन इज देयर सो दैट ओनली शॉर्ट स्ट्रेचेज ऑफ अमीनो एसिड्स आर प्रोड्यूस्ड विद नो बायोलॉजिकल एक्टिविटी सो द होस्ट सेल प्रोटीज दे कैन डिग्रेडेड सच नॉन फंक्शनल प्रोटीन सो सिमिलरली द फॉरन प्रोटीन्स इफ दे आर एक्सप्रेस्ड बाय क्लोनिंग अ स्पेसिफिक डी एन ए फ्रेगमेंट दे मे ऑल्सो बी अनस्टेबल विद इन द होस्ट ऑर्गेनिज्म बिकॉज दे मे नॉट बी properly folded or the tertiary structure it is not formed it has been observed that uh, there may be different type of proteins uh, in e coli or the host organism that can play vital role in the proper folding of the proteins after their synthesis and those proteins that assist in the folding of the proteins they are called as the chaperones so when chaperones they are involved in the proper folding of the proteins then they are protected from the host uh, organism proteases from degradation and there is another problem that even if chaperones they are present they may not be suitable for the folding of uh, foreign proteins that are expressed by the clone dna uh, fragments so Uh, this may be the problem so overall we can say that for the expression of foreign proteins a strong promoter is uh, must be present and after that the proteins must be stable and the, for the stability of the proteins they can be expressed in the form of fusion proteins now fusion proteins are those proteins that are hybrid proteins and expressed by Uh, more than one genes when fusion proteins that are produced uh, then there is an advantage that the n terminal of the fusion protein it may protect the proteins from degradation by the host proteases and later on the net protein it can be recovered by the process of cleavage by using some specific uh, chemicals